What happened to your school bad boy slash girl? We had a couple, myself included. I think there was about 8 in total. I'm all that's left. The rest are dead or incarcerated. Bad boy is now manning the front desk of the local dry cleaner. Bad girl got married, got divorced and is desperately trying to get married again. But, everyone is taking a bite, but nobody is buying. After high school, he got a girl pregnant, married her and has settled down. No longer posts pictures of himself doing drugs on Facebook. It's been replaced by pictures of his wife and little girl. Proud of him. She was a bit of a goth. Smoked in front of the school. Smoked pot behind the gym. Graduated valedictorian. Went to Stanford on a full ride scholarship. Alcoholic. Missing most of his teeth. Usually in between jobs and either lawn service or pest control. Has custody of his kids cause he's the good parent. She's dead. OD right out of high school. Shot and killed two fellow students behind a Publix across the road. So now he's in prison. Two bad boys, both brothers, a few years apart. The younger one started some sort of legitimate business, think Roy from the office, and seems to be doing extremely well. The oldest is literally homeless and constantly begging for money on Facebook. It's really sad. My biggest bully in middle slash high school ended up going to prison. Funny thing though, my mom worked in that prison, and they got to know each other. When he got out, he found me and apologized. He later got a job at a local Taco Bell, and whenever I came in he would always add a bunch of free stuff to my order. I haven't seen him in almost two decades, but I know he became a dad. I actually hope he's doing well. The one that comes to mind forced his exit gunpoint into his car, and then drove to another state. Cops eventually caught up with them, and then he shot himself in the car. I feel really bad for the girl. School bad boy, when I was there was my older brother. Drug dealer, played in a metal band, general smart ass and asshole. He flunked out of college after two semesters, and has been waiting tables since then. He turns 30 this year, and the girl he's dating now is the first one who's stayed with him for more than 6 months. She's super cool, actually, but like 5 years younger than him. They have a couple dogs, smoke a lot of weed, and play a lot of Dungeons and Dragons. Last I heard from him, he was escalating a feud with his neighbor by putting a plate and a half worth of loose, cooked spaghetti in her mailbox. Lots of meth. She posts photos of her newborn boy and calls him her sexy little man. I was the bad girl, I was very academically gifted, but had a bad home life, so I smoked, cigarettes and weed, drank a fair bit of vodka, basically did everything I could to rebel against authority, I once threw a jar of blood on the principal, animal blood, long story, ended up getting kicked out, spent 2 years on the streets with a bad drug habit, and surviving through sex work. Had a massive OD, turned my life around, worked in transport slash logistics. Now at 30 I'm at university, studying computer science slash engineering. I'll be 30 for when I graduate. He got arrested for spray painting a wall. Happy ending though, he went back to school and got into university. He was not the quintessential bad boy but did drugs, drank, got arrested for drugs, total partier. Always nice to me, and we were friendly, but that whole scene just wasn't my thing. That was 1981, and up until 2013 wondered whatever happened to him. Found out my daughter's new boyfriend was his son. I was very relieved to find out that shortly after high school he realized he was going nowhere fast, cleaned himself up, and started a successful business. Thrilled to say that my husband and I shared two beautiful grandchildren with him. And his wife and I couldn't be more happy about it. Two died of opioid overdoses and the third died in a front end collision while doing donuts in a roundabout. I'm fairly certain one of the prominent and popular bad girls at my school ended up as a prostitute. A few years after graduation she kept posting about how people should come get massages at this sketchy spa she worked at downtown. She also kept posting about her modeling career, but all the photos were behind a pretty steep paywall, so I'm pretty sure that was porn. 
Anyway, I read in the news one day that this spa she worked at was raided by the cops and the owner was arrested for running a prostitution ring. She suddenly stopped posting after that. Apparently, just looking at Facebook, he's now an nerdy hipster who frequently donates to various charities. In high school, he was a scene slash metal kid who had a penchant for beating up his many girlfriends. I know y'all are not going to believe this one. But the bad boy super jacked dude, blonde blue eyes jock, that got all the women. Well, he's doing gay porn at a professional level these days, so there's that. He's doing fine though. The bad girl, that everyone was in love with, not me at the time though, she turned out to be a very sweet person with an abusive dad and that made her be so rebellious and edgy back in high school. Well, she's my ex-wife now, so there's that. She's doing fine though. She dropped out of school to travel the world with her suspected pimp. She has since gotten her GED and is now studying business at some university in Las Vegas. My best friend was the school bad girl. Dated guys in their 20s when she was in high school. Did drugs. Did not deal well with authority, etc. She's had her ups and downs, like getting arrested during her third wedding, but now she's in law school in Hawaii. He is still trying to live as a musician, but in reality, being sustained by his father slash mother and living with them. She got pregnant at 17, did not finish school, had the baby, went back to school and finished it. Her family sustains her and the baby since the father disappeared. She struggles with raising the kid, trying to go to parties and work, earning less than the cost for education slash food for the kid alone. They are both over 30 now. All this from social media. Not sure how this happened, but there were three bad boys on our football team, all players and all very good looking. They cussed, drank, smoked all the time, and were constantly getting laid, or at least telling everyone they were. Right around senior year slash college they each went through some change, and are all now born again Christians. No partying, less cussing. And none of them talk about women in an objectifying way. It's great but kinda unnerving in a way. Thanks for watching the video. For more content like this, please subscribe, like, and share the video and push the notification button.